everyone. Today is Saturday the 14th and it's my day off. Guys, um, I feel like this is the beginning all over again from its good points and from its bad points. From its bad points is that I've gained weight and it's taken me this long to realize what I need to do. Now I know that in my last videos I've always been like, I'm so serious about this. I want to lose weight. I want to do this. And I, and I truly have wanted to, but I have taken the easy way. I thought that it'd be easy. I don't know. I, <laughs> I thought that by working out, I could lose weight again. And um, no, that's not how it is. Because last night, I just felt like crap. Okay, let me be honest with you guys. And uh, yesterday, was it? No. Two days ago, I weighed myself. And I don't know if it was because I had eaten a lot that day or the night before or if it was because I hadn't used the bathroom or if it was because, I don't know, it could be so many reasons or so many excuses or whatever you want to call it. But I finally hit 190. Guys, I was down to 175. And to go back up to 190, I didn't know how to react. You know, because every single pound I lost, I would think and be like, I never want to see this number again. So, to be so close back to the 200s is insane. I mean, I was 190.2, but still, like, I haven't seen that number in months. In months, like, six or seven months. I haven't seen that number, and I never want to see it again. It was very frightening. Um, it was really hard after I moved to continue on eating healthy and continue on going to the gym every day. First of all, because I didn't have a gym to go to. And second, because it was just exhausting to always be thinking about your eating. And then it, it just became much easier to be one of the other kids to just eat whatever they want and, you know, just be normal. And um, I wanted to continue living my life on working out and still eating whatever I wanted, even if it was just to maintain it. Or I thought that if I worked out a little more, I'd lose it. And... That's not, that's not how it's going to work because when you want to lose weight, 50% of it is working out and the other 50 is eating healthy. And if you're not doing both, you're not getting anywhere. Last night I was tossing and turning in bed. It was probably like 2 in the morning and I just started crying. Like I was just so stressed out. I was so scared and um, I realized that I, like I have to do something and, and I didn't know what. Like I was just... I was just crying, and my boyfriend was next to me, and, and, like, I never talk to my boyfriend about these things because, I don't know, it's just, like, I, I've always talked, I've always kept them to myself, you know, I've never really had anyone to talk to about, and so, like, I was crying, and he heard me, and, um, he just started talking, he was like, anything that's worth, you know, fighting for is not gonna be easy, so this is gonna be really hard, and I'm gonna, and I'd be lying to you if I told you it's gonna get easier, and he was like, it's not gonna get easier, this is only gonna get harder, especially because, you know, you wanna get, you wanna get down to your last 40, 50 pounds now, and, um, the first 40 were, I mean, they weren't easy, definitely not, but now it's gonna be harder, and so, I was really thinking about it, and I was like, man, I'm really going to have to make a sacrifice. And I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't, like I did, but I just, I wasn't ready for it, I guess. I just thought that I could lose weight by eating unhealthy things in small portions. I don't know. And so then I started thinking that I finally need to do something. And uh, I guess what I came to conclusions was just, you know, every day from work, I'm going to have to wake up really early, probably like at 6 in the morning, cook my meals, have them ready for the day, go to the gym. Like, I mean, like, because this past whole week, I've been going probably morning and evenings. I went for like an hour class in the morning, and in the evenings, I did like a 30-minute, one-hour run. I mean, it wasn't running the entire time, but I was walking, running. So, I mean, it's still good, you know, it's still good exercise. Um... I'm going to have to do more. Uh, maybe not in the exercise because I, I really can't do much than I already have. Like, my time, like, only allows me to do so much. You know, like, an hour in the morning if they have, like, a class. And then, like, an hour in the evening after work because I'm so exhausted, you know. Um, and I'm doing what I can. With the exercise, I feel like I'm okay. In. But with the eating healthy is what I'm going to have to make another big sacrifice, which is to wake up early in the morning, start really cooking my meals because that's something I've been dreading cooking my meals like ugh, 
it's just a pain and I just want to be a lazy 21 year old <laughs> you know but if I want to lose weight I have to be responsible for myself I have to take care of my body and really think about it like it's gonna suck you know going to bars and like thinking of getting a salad or thinking of getting grilled something instead of french fries and a burger you know and I've been living like that for the past I don't know three months four months maybe just not caring and just eating whatever and I've been able to maintain it which is pretty damn good you know I was like a not really I was like in the 180s for like most of it and now I finally hit 190 so I gotta do something my boyfriend says he didn't notice that I gained weight and I haven't really like I did notice recently small things like around my like my belly my tummy area it just felt like it was getting wider and I know my arms like certain things like sleeves were getting a little tight but nothing like you know like too horrible I know I was getting really close to a size 10 in pants and now I'm back to like a tight 12 so that really sucks because I fought so hard to get out of the 14s I really don't want to get back up there again you know and I'm so close to that <sighs> I did notice that one of my favorite pair of jeans was also getting a little tighter and that's really disappointing because they were like loose so yeah it sucks guys but I'm here and this is real life, guys. This really happens if you don't take care of yourself. You know, no one's going to do it for you. You know, your body's not just going to automatically lose weight for you. You have to do both. And, like, that sucks because I, I felt like I was doing good with the exercise. I was just, I don't understand. Why couldn't I even just maintain it, you know? Like, was I eating that horrible? I feel like as soon as, like, I was eating really healthy. And then as soon as I broke off of that, I was eating really bad, like, chocolate cake, like, burgers, and all that stuff. And I wasn't gaining weight. I mean, I did gain weight, but probably, like, five pounds or so. And I was maintaining there for, like, a long time. But then once I just continued that pattern, I started gaining it back, and I was gaining it, like, quick. So, I don't know. Now I, I feel like I can't stop gaining weight. And that, that's when I have to make myself clear and decide that I got to do something about it. And um, I got to do it fast. I don't want to get back to the 200 day anymore. I don't want to get there. I worked so hard. I can't let it all go to waste. And this, guys, this was my biggest fear. I'm losing weight and stopping it finally and trying to live my life normally and then gaining it back. That was my biggest fear. I'm living my biggest fear right now. And it sucks. And I was so afraid because I knew it would happen. I knew I wasn't ready. And I just let myself go. Hopefully this time, you'll see a lot more of me lately. I mean, from now on, I guess. Because I, I'm serious about this, guys. And, and if vlogs hold me accountable to myself, then I will do them. Even if it's just to show you what I eat. I just It's just going to be really hard to break from that habit again. You know, to like unconsciously just like grab a piece of candy because it's out there, you know. Like, before, it was easy for me to like think and be like, do I really want that? And... And then, I, of course, I'd say, no, you know, you don't need candy, you need chocolate. I'd be so, like, I have so much willpower. It was it was incredible. <laughs> but now, it's just, like, there's something there. I'm like, eh, I can take a bit of it. And, you know, like, I feel like, okay, I can handle it. You know, I can I can take a little bit of not one anymore. But then, like, like 15 minutes later, I'll go and grab another piece of, of whatever, you know, food and cakes. Any, especially sweets. Like, that's been, like, my horrible part. <laughs> just chocolate and everything. Anyways, this is an eight, nine minute video. Sorry. Hopefully it even downloads. But um, yeah, I'm just really disappointed in myself. But I'm just so ready to get back on track. Right now, I'm in front of Walmart. I'm going to go buy all my groceries. It sucks because I just got paid. And now it's, all my money is going to go on like healthy foods. And healthy foods are kind of pricey. So I want to start doing my meals, cooked meals, every single day. It's going to be a pain. But I really want to lose weight, guys. I really want to get down to 140. 145, 150, oh my god, that'd be amazing, like, oh, I'm so ready, are you guys ready, hopefully, hopefully at least one of you guys joins me, because I, I'm just ready to get back on YouTube, I guess, and just focus, 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 so if you're with me, let me know, because I want to do this, and I want to have a partner, I know Michelle's trying to do it again, Michelle988, she's been trying to get back on track with everything, 
but I know her lifestyle's kind of crazy too, so it's been hard for her. And I know she did put a couple pounds as well. And hopefully she doesn't get to the point that I've gotten to because I know we were losing around the same pace, around the same weight. And she got down to like 160 something. I think she got down to like 160s, the high 60s. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But yeah, now she's back up. So best of luck to you, girl. It's going to be hard, but you know, don't wait so late like I did to finally realize that you got to do something about it. So best of luck to you. And like I said, if you guys want to join me, let me know because I can't do this alone. <laughs>